there earlier tonight and he got in and then he got out just in a nick of time because by the later evening, this is what we had. Yeah, it was a great night to head out there to Coney Island. You know, they got over 2 million lights. It's a fun time indeed. And the weather held out tonight for Ruth Lyons night out there. So that was awfully nice as well from Mother Nature. But now things have gone downhill and we've got rain and some wind pushing its way through the area. But I don't think it's anything you need to be overly worried about through the nighttime hours tonight. So that's the good news. All right, here's a look at radar right now. Yeah, there's some pockets of heavy rain, especially moving across parts of northern Kentucky into southwest Ohio. Occasionally you're getting, you know, a couple of rumbles of thunder out of this. It's not like one of those nights where you can't sleep through this stuff because while well, we do have some thunder and lightning out there, it's not an excessive amount. You can see here not much happening, at least in the immediate moment within Hamilton County, mostly light rain showers here up towards Sharonville, Westchester there, Sims Township out towards Milford Terrace Park, a little heavier rain there action on the east side of the 270 loop and then as you head through parts of Claremont County, some heavy rainfall from Batavia down towards Bethel and then take you even farther north and east. You've had some heavier rain up near Wilmington, a little break around Hillsboro, but you can see some heavier rains on either side of those of you there in Highland County. A little area of heavy rain here coming up on West Union back towards Manchester. This will lift up towards Peebles and then back through the Maysville community, locally heavy rainfall in pockets around the area. So usually what you'll probably end up with with is a really heavy downpour for maybe four or five minutes occasionally even because you don't have to go up very high in our atmosphere. The air is pretty cold. Occasionally you'll even get some hailstones mixed in, not severe size, but certainly some small P dime size hill can't be ruled out. As you can see, pretty nasty across much of northern Kentucky. Look at this wave of heavy rainfall moving up through Kenton, about to move into Campbell counties, up towards Bellevue, out towards Highland Heights and Taylor Mill as well, and then back through Boone County. And you can see there's plenty of rain still left to go through the night. This will continue through about probably 4 or 5 a.m. because the actual cold front is right here, just now reaching the Illinois Indiana state line. So the threat for rain, a rumble of thunder or two, continues basically through the night. Aside from anything that has to do with thunderstorms or heavy downpours, it's just a windy night out there. And that's because we've got this strong cold front coming through. And I can't rule out that there will be a wind gust 40 to 45. Look at Dale High right now, currently gusting close to just that 40 miles an hour. So there's our potent storm cruising its way through the Ohio Valley. It has been a wicked night across parts of the deep south with severe weather and tornadoes that stays there. Future cast shows us it's just wet through the night for us and windy. The best news I can report is that you know what? By the morning commute, the rain's over. The difference though tomorrow it will be cold, windy. It will feel like it's about 40 degrees colder outside. So right now we're at 55 degrees. We're ahead of that front, so our winds are out of the southwest. Temperatures will stay between about 55 and 60, you know, until that front crosses. And I don't think that happens until after 3 or 4 a.m. And then temperatures will crash towards morning. And even though we get the sun back tomorrow, look at these numbers. It will be heavy jacket sweater weather out there by morning. Down to 38, 30s all day tomorrow, but it will feel like it's in the 20s. When you compare that to our high of 60 today, it is going to feel like it's about 40 degrees colder tomorrow. Here's your seven day forecast. All right, a frigid wind tomorrow night down to 23, only in the 30s for highs again on Thursday, and this roller coaster ride continues. We're back up to the 50s Friday, almost 60 on Saturday with some rain, and then we tumble back into the 30s again on Sunday. Kevin, thanks so much. In World Cup Soccer.